Hi everybody, welcome back. A helpful husband here. Once again, my lovely wife, the donkey listener, has given me a challenge. Um, anytime you're dealing with livestock, donkeys, whatever you have, you know, feeding hay is, is, is always a problem. Uh, slowing them down, reducing waste. And there are all kinds of livestock feeders on the market, and most of them are kind of expensive. So my lovely bride has given me a challenge, the hay feeder challenge, to make as many feeders as I can using nothing but things that I can scrounge on the farm, plus a budget of $100 to see how many different kinds of feeders I can make to feed our donkeys and now our goats. So let's see what I come up with and what I can do. Hi again. Well, we've started the challenge on the hay feeders. And as I started looking around on the farm, one of the things I noticed is we got a lot of old garbage cans. And so what I've done is I've got some of these old square garbage cans that are on wheels. I went down to our box store and bought some plastic lattice. So I've spent about $12 on my $100 budget now. I can't claim original idea on this. There was a picture that the donkey listener gave me from Pinterest although it lacked a lot of details. But let's see how we're gonna turn this into a hay feeder. All right, what I've done is measure down about 13 inches on each side. And this is important. You wanna come up where you have at least a one inch lip above the wheel area. Took my jigsaw and cut out this angled section. Now here's the important part that they didn't have on Pinterest. Once you cut that section out, it's not gonna be a lot of structure to your garbage can. So what I've done is, I've installed two one by two braces from some scrap lumber we had here on the farm. And now we're all ready to put in our lattice. I like that plastic lattice because I can cut it easily with my jigsaw. It's not gonna rot out and it's nice and light. So I've taken the plastic lattice and I've attached two more scrap pieces of wood to it. And we're gonna fit it in here, mount it to those braces, and then mount it to the upper part of the garbage can. Let's see what we got when we're done. One important note to tell you is anytime you're trying to mount something on this plastic type stuff, and you're using a bolt, make sure you've got a washer on the back of it because it's really bad to pull through. Okay, so what I've done is we've attached the lattice work both to the upright supports and to the top here. Use bolts with big finish washers right here to keep the lattice inside the plastic of the garbage can we put these little retainer boards and that'll keep the animals from pulling that out, creating a gap on the side. Now what's really nice about this is a lot of the hay that's spilled is gonna get caught here, but we didn't want that to get wet so we drilled some drain holes in the bottom. Now, you're gonna to have to use this for bungee cords because it's lost some structure to be a freestanding. But with the handles right here, we can bungee it either at this level or up, it's really light. It comes with a lid that'll keep your hay dry. And we have the first feeder in the Donkey Listener Feeder Challenge. Okay, we've got a little more than three flakes of hay in it. We've got it bungeed up on a higher place. As you can see, they can access it through here. Billy Bob likes it already. And at this height, either the goats or the donkeys can get it. And as the scraps fall out, they'll fall in the lower catch tray where we won't get as much waste. So, one down, how many to go?